Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Crash Lands. I hope you guys had an awesome day and an awesome weekend actually. I'm back from PAX. It's been a few days since I actually played at my PC. Did some mobile gameplay actually and uh and formed up some zugs and a couple other things i hope you guys are having an awesome day guys thanks so much for all the amazing support on the crash lens series as always if you do enjoy the videos make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support and you could subscribe to the channel for more daily videos so last time we left off there were a bunch of things that we had access to the crystal kiln actually my save file for some strange reason wasn't exactly the same as when i left it so i had to recraft the crystal kiln um in addition to that it looks like there's some pieces of armor that uh that i already have access to but i don't have access to this yet which is a charged zug molt uh you have to kind of have your own zug pet for that but i had formed enough zug to get an egg so i'm gonna go ahead and build a zug incubator and also we can build the comm device i have all the stuff put together so let's see as far as the the dust crystals and stuff let's go ahead and build the dust jacket we're gonna build the dusk mitts and we're gonna build the dusk pants that ought to put us in a new category all on its own plus i gotta tell you mobile fighting is a lot different like fighting on the mobile uh on the, on, on my android phone really really different but this made it a lot easier the um the flamethrower and the blowgun really really nice fighting combination with these two all right so we got the, the comm device ready and we got the Zug Incubator ready. As far as the armor and stuff, it's going to be a little bit. Give me that device. I'll keep it safe while we travel. Done and done. Now, can we talk to the Bureau? You find that high ground yet? I'm slapping the coordinates on your map. It's the highest place in the region, but there's some <laughs> anomalous energy coming from it. Ah, smell a boss fight. That probably means Hugo is up to something. Seriously though, stock up before heading out. I've got a weird feeling in my circuits. Alright, so we are ready to go pretty much. We have enough speed potions and enough heal potions to really get with it. And aside from a few of the other um, the pieces here, we're going to need to do something with that Zug to get, the next, uh, next, to get the next thing with the helmet. But let's go ahead and check these out. 377 health. Toughness 16.55, this is basically the same in toughness, but we got a lot more health from it. Freeze chance and berserk chance, I'm going to miss my move chance and my, my burn chance, but other than that, that's not that bad. Move speed increase is only 1.67, so I think it'll be alright. Uh, let's check out these now. Berserk chance and fire resist, ain't nothing wrong with that, and another 40 health to boot. Uh, damage reflect is really really high on the pearl gloves of thorns but yeah and finally oh vampire chance is nice vampire chance is nice okay hp regen i'm gonna miss that all right so now that we got those what's next here um let's see oh i like my armor okay i'm gonna need that new helmet soon now that we got the zug egg going or oh yeah we have we just have to place it i think um i'm gonna go ahead and take this away this could be some decorations for later not e w there we go take oh i didn't mean to remove that wall <laughs> all right and i'll go ahead and put the zug egg incubator right there all right five minutes left on that so i know we're going to need so, uh, do we need some more Zug parts for that thing? Let's check it out. I am pretty sure the only thing we're gonna... Yeah, we have everything else. We just don't have this um, this stuff right here. This charged Zug Molt. Uh, it's overfed. It has the chance to shed its skin. It shocks you every time you touch it. Okay, what else is there? There's a Watt Incubator. I haven't found a Watt Egg yet. Uh, what is that? Yep, yeah, there's a Watt Egg. Okay, so that'll be something that I need to look into. Dusk Prism. When hammered into triangular shape and infused with the souls of Glitopus babies, dark crystals, dust crystals sure make one heck of a prism. I still don't know what this is for, but I'm going to go ahead. Glitopus larva. Uh, let's see. I do have the ability to get Glitopus larva, I believe, from Tentakill. Yeah, I sure do. Let's go ahead and build one and see what we can do with it. Thank you. 
And now that should give us access to the prisms. And I don't know what this is going to do, but I'm going to just build one. Huh. I guess it may be some sort of crafting component for some of these other... Um, some of these other deals. Okay, we do have one quest to complete before that's going on, but let's see, we still got four minutes on that sucker, so let's go to the cultist compound. And we'll head out there. That's one of our quests as well. Uh, so it shouldn't be that bad. I'm still gonna kind of conserve heal potions, you guys, uh, because I don't know how bad this boss fight is gonna be, and I usually go through quite a bit when doing boss fight stuff. Quite a bit. We'll get some of that. And we're going to stay harvesting Whistle Reed when it's convenient. Meaning that when it's not around too many enemies that I have to worry about. Uh, let's see. Cultist Compound. We're going to have to go a little bit more to the right here. Uh, might as well just place some floor to get across here. There we go. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I don't need to worry about picking up my bridging because I'll actually get that back sooner or later. Also, I got some Harvest Bombs MK2. Um, and I remember you guys talking about that I could have harvested the Dust Crystal before I even got the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the right pickaxe with the Harvest Bombs MK2. I didn't even think about that, but... Oh, wrong button. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the high ground is way up there. That's that's a good bit out of the way, but we're almost to the compound. So let's see here. Just getting some resources as a go. All right, this looks like I'm approaching it here. More turtles. Where in the world is this compound? I hope I'm not going too high here. I might be. I might be. Let's go back down. Let's use a potion. Let's just put a little, little boost on it. All right, here it is. Here's the compound. How do I get in this place? Hmm. Wonder if I have to go from underneath it. I would not be surprised. Ah! Let's just put the speed on. We can fight those things. I just I don't need to, so I'd rather not right now. Not what? Well, there's a bunch of stuff to get in there. A bunch of resources. And there's a chest there. All right. There's the way in. Um. Let's see. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, uh, I just crashed my ship here, and I was looking for a looking for a new deity to worship. Stinking Marla crashed our ship. Praise be to Barry for delivering you to me. <laughs> Let me just get the door. Can't be too careful when when the Marla followers about. Just go right through the center of the aisle in Hersha, and you'll be fit to the observatory of Barry. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. There's another quest here, but it looks like I can also go here and get that key. Did not see a key. I want to get that chest. It might be something epic. I'm hoping it's something epic. Got the key. Oh, that's a Huka Duko security key. Okay. I have a feeling that this might be a boss fight thingy too. But that's okay. Let's go through here. We'll see about the quest in just a second. Yeah. <laughs> Got in. What is this? Oh, two elixirs of anti-venom? Oh, that was nothing. Uh, but it makes me think that I might need some anti-venom before going on this quest. All right. Um... I don't even know if this is going to be it here. This might be Barry. Oh, there's another key here, too. And another chest. Huh. Oh, there's another key. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm just take out my floors here. Plop one there. 
plop a few here. Get this key. All right. And check out what's behind the door number two. Wow, what was all that? Oh, dusky healing potions and poison bombs. Very, very cool. Okay. Whew, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. I think I need to use a few items here. Just in case. Okay. Let's see here. All I need to do is... Let's see. This is Elixir of Slashing. This gives my weapon crit for 20 minutes. Uh, this is Stony Burn Salve. This will fix, it'll clear up burn damage. Where was the other stuff? Let's see, the wrench would be good, but that's not what I'm interested in. Elixir of Spoon Beast, <laughs> I love that. Stony Health Potion. Uh, this is the Dusky Healing Potions, a 1609. I don't need those yet, I don't think. Uh, Longevity Harvest Bomb. Where was the, um... What was the Anti-Venom? There we go. By repeatedly dosing yourself with Sunshroom Chunks, ever become ever more resistant, literally poisoned, every reduces damage taken by 15%. Last 20 minutes. Okay, we'll go ahead and use that, actually. Alright. Alright! Now, if this is a boss, this is it. Hush! I wasn't saying anything. I was communicating with our Sp Sporatin Lord and Savior Barry. He's most excited to have you here, but is skeptical of your motives. Why? Marla crashed our ship, stupid Marla. Yep, I totally did. Uh, or stupid Flux, I hate you. Unfortunately, Barry is in trust in sort. Means you're going to need to prove your faithfulness to him. Whatever Barry asks. Barry requests that you slay two wild beasts that have been ruining his growth. Our, out beyond the safety of these walls lies Hrak, the great sunshroom eaten wat, and his partner in crime, Vug, a zug of large proportion. We'll slay them and we're in. Slay them, beast, and maybe you'll get granted Hifia status or Hypha status. Uh, the roam around the savannah and you'll come back to the compound when you're done. Okay, so they should be just around the savannah from what I can see. Unfortunately, we just wasted an anti-venom. Not that it was very, very bad, but I didn't want to take the chance. Because if you don't have it in your hotboard, you can't really use it when you're in battle. So, let's see. Did we get... We did get something much closer. Alright. Uh, I did want to see just really quick if there were any other teleport pads. Like right here. There's Vug. That's one of the Zugs. Okay, we might as well just kill him since we're here, right? Alright. As long as I keep going in circles like this, I should be alright. In fact, let me go ahead and put a speed potion. Put a speed potion. <laughs> speed potion on. Ah, uh, you see that? All I gotta do is kind of run away from this guy, and it's over. Tartle just takes care of the rest. Good old Tartle sauce. Oh, what is that? Uh, a figurang. That's a fingerang. That sounds like a weapon. I am totally interested. Okay, and the only other thing was another wat. Was that? Was no ma'am wat. That wasn't it. But I'll still kill it. I will still kill it. These are a little bit easier to kill in my opinion. You just make them kind of line up with what you need them to line up with. Use your potions, not your potions, but your, um, your ranged attacks. Oh, there's Harak. That's the one I gotta kill. <laughs> Alright, we'll just kill two of them. There's more chance that we get a wat egg anyway. Also, if they get close, you can crit them a few times, which is always nice to speed up the process. There we go. All right, Hrak dies. That was easy, man. That was easy sauce. Okay, let's go back to... No, Tartle. I'm not interested. Okay, Cultist Compound. Now we should be able to talk. 
Barry is pleased, yet he remains concerned. He says in all his wisdom that he no longer whispers to you. Whisper? He was screaming at us earlier. Barry does as he pleases, and you'd be remiss to ask more of him, lest he strike you down. Barry asks for a tribute of resources, some 20 dust shards and 10 straddlebark. Whatever, Barry asks, since we're so excited to be Barry's followers. Do I sense sarcasm, floating box? Nope, he's totally serious, glares at juice box. We'll be right back at your compound with the tribute. Praise Barry. Alright, I think I have it already. Barry, your fungal greatness, take these goods as tribute. Now that's the spirit. The remaining in... Wait, a renaming is now in order. A pledge in yourselves to Barry. Your previous titles are forgotten. Henceforth you shall be... Shashara, renamed by Barry himself. Wait, is that Sharsharasa? Giggles, best name ever. Way <laughs> better than Flux. Now that you're one of us, uh, you, and your soul belongs to Barry, I could reveal our plans and such. See, Marla's old news. She arrives for balance. Wait, she strives for balance, but the balance means that she sometimes don't come helping when you need it. But Barry here, wait, but Barry, he'll help even when maybe you don't need it. He bears down his faithful like a mother gl <laughs> glitopi on her babies. I feel you. Marla's crashing of a ship is why I stopped believing. I mean, who does that, right? Exactly. So here's what we do. You get 11 Straddlebork and 7 Bulby, then bring them to me. I'll mix them up with the aid of Barry, and we're going to deliver a powerful poison to the root of Marla itself. Fetch them ingredients, and I'll bring back to the compound. Then I'll meet you with Barry. Okay, so how much do we need? Uh, 7 Bulby and 11 Straddlebork. So... Let's see what we have here. Seven Bulby and eleven Straddleboard. I don't know. I don't know how to tell if we have a lot on the quest or not. Let's see. Bulby and Straddleboard. I don't think it says how much I have of each. Where can you see the resources again? There was some. You guys told me how to do this before. <laughs> and I'm tripping. Uh, let's see. It has to be under data, right? Quest, no data. Straddlebork. Oh, here we go. Uh, Bulby. Those are those. And it looks like we have... It doesn't say how much we have, though. See, it doesn't say. Uh, <laughs> and we know what Straddlebork already looks like. Okay, in the compound, wasn't there like... A big thing of Straddlebork? Didn't I see that? Huh. Maybe I'm not remembering right. Let's put a potion on. Straddlebork shouldn't be too difficult to find. Let's go back out here where we were earlier. And Bulbies. They have plenty of that stuff around here. I'm just gonna grab some, I think. We don't need those, but we're gonna grab them anyway. Quit shooting at me! I'm not interested in fighting with you right now. Alright. More, um... More Zoom Zoom? Okay. Now, where did I see... That patch of Straddlebork? Did I see that from inside? I mean, from outside looking in? I don't remember. I don't see it right here. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to look around and find some of this stuff off cam. Because it just seems like kind of just going around getting stuff, you know? But we should have our little guy ready. Our friend. Our new pet. Okay. I love that sound. <laughs> All right. Come on out, baby. Yay! Zug hatched from an egg. Okay, what do we need? What are we going to name him? Um, let, how many letters can I put? Zug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> oh, wait. That's a rug. That looks like a bee. Zug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> like, snug as a bug in a rug. All right. And Zug as a bug in a rug needs to what do we need for this a zugla ball that's the next thing zugla ball all right but we can get one of these so we're gonna go ahead and grab one 
nice okay so we got that now let's check out the crystal kiln and I can see that we can make that too so we can build our dust kiln let's go ahead and build it and this is it'll do tremendous damage to your enemies and make them bleed but be careful catching it on the way back you, or so you might lose a finger applies bleed damage to enemies for 100 percent of your dps that is really really cool we need some more of the wet fingers we need wet wings and we need zug shells so we're gonna need to kill a few more of those now we got the helm very cool fire resistant toughness equip all right so we could make some more of those to get them a little bit better or whatever what is that jolly scope Using the focus power of Firmified Jolly Fulmar, you're able to finally craft things in such immense detail that hurls... Ah, I bet you that's a, um, a what you call, the new, uh, the new crafting station. Jolly. Oh, a Jolly Chomp. Okay, so this is the, this is a different kind of creature, it looks like. Vama are covered with these fleshy flaps. Yeah, there's the new things that we have to kill. Okay, that's going to be another area. We haven't seen those type of mobs yet, but I guess we'll check that stuff out in the next episode, you guys. I might form a few Zug and Wats and stuff like that and also get some of those ingredients that we'll need to finish up that quest next time we come back when Crash lands. Thank you all guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me some dab on that like button to show you support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Tell me there is a bunch of pearls in here. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Now, you see, now I'm doing it right, ladies and gentlemen.